The Danish Piranha 5 fleet stands as a pivotal element in Denmark's military modernization, embodying a strategic pivot toward enhanced mobility, protection, and multi-role functionality amid shifting regional security landscapes. Developed by General Dynamics European Land Systems, the GDLS MOAG, as a fifth-generation 8x8-wheeled armored personnel carrier, the Piranha 5 was introduced to supplant the Danish Army's outdated M113 tracked APCs and earlier Piranha models. Announced in late 2015 with an initial order of 308 vehicles, later refined to 309, this fleet's procurement, delivery, and operational integration underscored Denmark's dedication to bolstering NATO interoperability and fortifying national defense. Encompassing six variants, infantry, command, pioneer, or engineer, ambulance, repair, and mortar, the Piranha 5's versatility has been further amplified by its recent adaptation for air defense with the Sky Ranger 30 system. The Piranha 5's journey began with its selection in April 2015 by the Danish Defense Acquisition and Logistics Organization, the DALO, triumphing over tracked rivals such as the BA System CV-90, the General Dynamics ASCA, and the French VBCI in one of Europe's most competitive armored vehicle evaluations. This choice, cemented by a $600 million contract on December 15, 2015, leveraged Denmark's operational familiarity with the Piranha lineage, ensuring a seamless transition from legacy platforms. Beyond the 309 vehicles, the deal included a sustainment framework and spurred collaboration with Danish firms like Hydrema and Nissens, channeling over 3 billion DKK into the local economy. Deliveries kicked off with seven pre-production infantry variants handed over in May 2017 at Moag's Swiss headquarters, subjected to extensive climate and user trials through late 2017. Serial production rolled out in early 2018, with the first operational batch formally transferred on March 27, 2019, and the full complement, spanning all six variants, finalized by late 2023. Key milestones included the ambulance variant's arrival in 2020, integrating the fleet into the 1st Brigade as a direct replacement for the Piranha 3. Engineered for adaptability, the Piranha 5 is powered by a 577 horsepower MTU 6V199 TE21 diesel engine, achieving speeds of 100 km per hour and a 1,000 km range, with its hydropneumatic suspension rivaling tracked vehicles in cross-country performance. Accommodating a crew of three and up to eight passengers, it offers modular armament options, 30mm cannons to anti-tank missiles, and robust Stanag 4569 protection against 14.5mm fire all around and 30mm frontally. Its roles span troop transport, command coordination, engineering support, medical evacuation, vehicle recovery, and mortar fire, with a transformative leap in 2023 when Denmark opted for Rheinmetall's Sky Ranger 30 GB8 system. Mounted on 15 Piranha 5 platforms by 2027, with integration by Terma AS, this hybrid system, unveiled at a Dallow exhibition in August 2024, features a 30 millimeter revolver cannon, airburst ammunition, and the Spexer 2000M radar, targeting drones and short-range threats with a 40 kilometers tracking radius. This adaptation, spurred by Ukraine's lessons, enhances the 1st Brigade's defensive scope, aligning with Europe's air defense surge. Deployed primarily with the 1st Brigade at bases like Oaksbell and Aalborg, the Piranha 5 fleet focuses on NATO exercises and national readiness rather than combat reflecting Denmark's post-Afghanistan deterrence posture. While its predecessors logged combat hours in Iraq and Afghanistan, the Piranha 5's role as of March 2025 emphasizes preparation for Baltic or Arctic scenarios, such as safeguarding Greenland, over active engagements. Recent operations highlight this focus. A 2022 Leonardo contract equipped all 309 vehicles with advanced infrared and night vision systems by 2023, sharpening low visibility performance, while the 2024 Sky Ranger deal anticipates future aerial challenges. Participation in NATO drills like Trident Juncture successors is probable, 
though post-2023 specifics are limited. Mirroring Denmark's strategic emphasis on readiness amid Russian threats and U.S. tensions over Greenland, the fleet's integration into Denmark's accelerated military plans, evidenced by the March 25, 2025 announcement of two armored infantry companies, further cements its role in a rearming Danish force. Comparing the Piranha 5 to regional counterparts like the CV-90, ASCOD, and VBCI reveals its nuanced strengths. The tracked CV-90, deployed by Sweden and Norway, boasts superior firepower, up to 40 mm cannons and armor, thriving in Nordic rough terrain, but its 70 km per hour speed and 600 km range lag behind the Piranha 5's wheeled agility. The ASCOD, used by Spain, mirrors the CV-90's combat focus with similar mobility trade-offs, though its regional footprint is narrower. The French VBCI, a wheeled 8x8, matches the Piranha 5's 100 km per hour speed and offers a 750 km range, prioritizing troop comfort, yet its lighter armor and reduced modularity fall short of the Piranha 5's protective and adaptive edge. The Piranha 5 shines in its balance of mobility, versatility, with six variants plus Sky Ranger and NATO compatibility, though it may yield to the CV-90's direct combat potency. Delving deeper, the Piranha 5's design foresight such as a two-ton weight reserve, ensures longevity, accommodating upgrades like the Sky Ranger or potential laser systems showcased at Euro Satori 2024. Its operational efficiency, bolstered by an integrated power management system, optimizes energy for advanced electronics, a nod to modern warfare's demands. The Sky Ranger Certified 30's modularity, pairing a 30 mm cannon with options like Stinger missiles or future CPGM vertical launchers, positions the fleet to evolve with threats, a flexibility less pronounced in the CV-90's IFB focus or the VBCI's troop-centric design. Denmark's investment reflects a broader European trend, with Germany and Hungary also adopting Spexer radars, affirming the system's reliability. Critics like Rasmus Jarlov Lament reliance on U.S.-aligned systems, yet the Piranha 5's European roots and Danish industrial ties mitigate such risks. In sum, the Piranha 5 fleet emerges as a strategic triumph for Denmark, blending procurement efficiency, multi-role prowess, and forward-looking upgrades. Its wheeled agility and adaptability outpace tracked rivals in deployment speed and versatility, while its air defense evolution addresses contemporary threats. Anchoring Denmark's military buildup, evidenced by the 4.7 billion DKK brigade investment, the fleet is primed to safeguard national and NATO interests through the 2030s, a testament to its balanced design and regional relevance.